Hi there. Uh, and so much fun uh, doing the, the, the first of my videos about giblets that I decided I would uh, go for another uh, word from the list and decided at this time I would probably be a little more profound than I was the last time uh, and go for loneliness. Now, if I can talk about uh, giblets and associated phobia for 10 minutes, I should probably be able to talk about loneliness for the, the same amount of time. Um, however, it would probably be quite difficult to make it uh, even marginally entertaining. So, so here we go. Um, loneliness. Um, I remember um, quite some time ago, probably scarily enough, about 20 years ago, there was a song, Happiness Seems to Be Loneliness. And loneliness cheered my world. And back then I didn't know what that meant. And I'd be lying to you if I told you now that I did. Uh, but um, I, it's quite strange. I know a lot of people that that feel lonely. And, and I wonder if sometimes it's one of these uh, grass is always greener on the other side things. Because I, I really do enjoy my own company. And I think I enjoy my own company um, more because I don't get the opportunity as much to be in my own company or well, on account of uh, having to spend time with my family. Um, whereas I always hear about friends that maybe live alone or have just come out of relationships or haven't been in relationships for some time or have never been in relationships because, like me, they're absolute geeks. Oh, that's a terrible thing to say. But, um, but uh, some people just don't like being on their own and they don't like being lonely. Um, there are also other people that, that can be around other people and um, still feel lonely, um, somewhat ostracised. And and that's, that's probably worse somehow because at least if you're lonely and you're on your own, you can kind of do something about it. But if you're lonely with people, then you're pretty fucked. Sorry. Sorry to tell you this, guys, but uh, probably says more about you. No, no, sorry, that's terrible. Right, anyway, sorry, loneliness, loneliness. Um, I, I, I only see the positives of being alone, so I don't think I ever feel lonely per se. Um, I'm, I'm very lucky in that uh, my wife likes to go on extended uh, holidays. To Spain, and I I usually manage to blag my way out of at least a part of that. So if my uh, like for instance uh, this year uh, my daughter went to Spain for five weeks, so um, I was with uh, Tanya for two weeks um, without my daughter, which uh, was fun because we discovered that the only time we talk about and spend time doing is related to my daughter so uh, we had two weeks of silence where we could catch up on TV box sets and reading so that was good and we occasionally made uh, food for each other and went out for a drink once and didn't even go to the cinema but that's because there was, there was nothing of note on but it, it, it's quite funny that you do start to contextualise your relationship with people in terms of other people uh, so then, uh, where was I going with this? Yeah, uh, so then, um, after the two weeks, my wife went to Spain for three weeks, uh, leaving me uh, on my own for a week. And I, 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 I joked her that uh, for the first for the first couple of days, it would be, it would be um, great fun, and I would have uh, loads of people round, and then I'm sure that I would get bored and would then possibly grow to miss her. Uh, that didn't happen. Um, I also didn't have any parties because uh, 10 years ago, I would have possibly uh, woken up in the back garden uh, with someone's blood on me. Uh, but uh, now I've got a bit older. Uh, I just got to watch what I wanted on the telly and read quite a lot of books and pretended to uh, miss my family and would Skype them every every evening, um, secretly desperate to get off of the computer 
having uh, found out for the, the, the tenth time in as many minutes that my, my daughter enjoys the beach. Uh, it gets a bit disheartening and depressing after a while. To Not 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 because I have any particular like for the beach, but uh, it's okay for me not to miss them, but to discover that they don't miss me can be a bit of a kick in the balls. Uh, so they're having a great time. I'm having a great time. Uh, in the early hours of the morning, I wonder why we spend so much time together as we, we should. Um, as we do, not as we should. We should always spend time together. But, um, so, yeah, um, I don't quite understand why people do suffer from loneliness. Um, uh, I think it's sad that they do. Um, I wish I could do something to help them. Uh, for some sort of financial transaction, I am happy to, to spend time with anyone. Um, if if anything sexual were to happen during that time then we can't really think of it as prostitution but just a natural occurrence between two people that wanted to spend time together and uh, I will use this as some sort of documented evidence that we did have that discussion. Uh, I would prefer if it was a woman but I'm not close to the idea of spending some quality time with a guy but what can you do? Uh, I feel like I've wandered from the point somewhat. Who would have believed that talking about giblets for 10 minutes was easier than talking about loneliness? Not me. Um, um, I obviously am on my own right now, or else I wouldn't be uh, making these videos. Um, I tried to prove to myself that um, I could spend some time on my own, and now I am just talking to myself on the iPad, uh, so maybe I am secretly a sad and lonely person who just needs company and maybe that's why I spend as much time on Facebook as I do. Um, I tried to give the illusion that some time had passed between this video and the last video by uh, changing my location and changing my t-shirt, which has a kind of bizarre Christmas theme to it. Um, I don't feel that's worked because uh, I only posted today that I was going to do this experiment and of course it is still today and this will be the second one. Um, so I just keep taking the occasional uh, sip of coffee while I think about the next thing to say rather than just saying um, like um, because as soon as you say um, it means that you're given the impression that you don't know what you're going to say next. But if you do something like this, it looks well measured and thought out, and therefore you can just get away with a couple more seconds of uh, talking nonsense without that um break that you sometimes get from people that really don't know what they're going to say next. Um, like that. Um, I keep umming now. I've, I've created some sort of um loop that, that, that I wasn't expecting because I was under the impression that I would be able to talk about loneliness for 10 minutes. However, um, since I am in the house on my own and I've taken some time out from pretending to do housework and actually watching stuff on the skybox, I realise that loneliness definitely isn't an issue for me. I, I really much enjoy my own company. Uh, I enjoy other people's company too. It's it's not something that 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 I would say no to. However, if I was to wake up tomorrow and every single one of you was dead or had maybe even just disappeared in some sort of rapture-like event, leaving me as the only person left on the planet without any repercussions like a nuclear meltdown or anything, then um, I would probably do okay. I would just uh, go into a bookshop and while away the last days of my life reading books and eating junk food and probably forgetting most of your names, with the exception of the person that decided loneliness should be my next topic, which was David Shakespeare. Thank you very much. And I will speak to you guys very soon. I hope that was 
remotely entertaining in one way, shape, or form. 